People in Anaheim are standing up, thank God. Uh, they're making a scene, they're making a ruckus, they're letting it be known that they're not going to allow this to happen. We just decided to join on with so many other cities that are doing the exact same thing. Uh, just a little bit of something here in Austin, Texas to show solidarity for them. I'm out here uh, in solidarity against police brutality. What happened in Anaheim could have happened anywhere, just like here in Austin. We have plenty of examples here in Austin of the police just blatantly killing people. So we need to come out and support any kind of calls against police brutality. It's insane that anybody in this country would see a, a police officer letting dogs loose on children and babies and kids and that they would just close their eyes and look the other way. It's time for people to wake up. Anaheim police firing rubber bullets confront a crowd of terrified children, parents and angry residents near La Palma and Acacia. Then one officer unleashes a snarling police dog which attacks a mother holding her child and this bystander. started shooting again no we don't have no guns nothing I just got scared I just saw a water bottle get thrown in the air they just started shooting everyone they shot a little kid too they just released the dog and I had my baby and my, and my, um, <laughs> and, my and my stroller and the dog just scratched me with his teeth and then just grabbed me so we're out here today in solidarity for what's going on in Anaheim and to bring more attention to what's happening here. We're the Peaceful Streets Project. We're here for police accountability. We're just trying to do what we can to stay visible out here. Hopefully they, they won't escalate a lot of these situations because they know that we're going to be on the prowl watching. A lot of these cases, it's always an unarmed citizen. Somebody's got to say something about it, stand up about it. We want to um, highlight the other victims around here that have died and been beat, raped. I mean, just horrible stories. So we're trying to bring attention to all the police corruption going on. There's a disconnect between the officers and what it is to be a peace officer and that they just draw first and ask questions later. But the whole point is when they introduced tasers and such, that was supposed to minimize lethal force. So why don't they use the, the tasers in the situation where they're shooting people and the situation where they're shooting tasers, they should just be arresting yeah. people. They got everything twisted. Yeah. You don't have accountability with the internal affairs. You don't have accountability with the police monitor's office. You don't have accountability with the police chief. All you have accountability with is with yourself, form with others, and hold them accountable yourself. PeacefulStreetsProject.com, check it out. We are going to outnumber them, and we're watching them, and we're videotaping them, and once it goes up on the internet, it's there forever. Nothing they can do about it. So you want to be a punk cop? You want to be a bully cop? Sure, no problem. Just be prepared to have your uh, wife and your mom and your kids see it. Well, I never had any trouble with the police, but on New Year's Day I was driving home. Uh, I was a designated driver. I saw two cops, uh, salty and female, so I decided to ask questions and take pictures. And one of those two cops, Patrick Gaborski, came after me, started pushing me around, and then he charged me with a felony of spitting in his face. And I guess he thought he was going to get away with it like most other cops have by filing false charges against people and expecting them to fight the system and so often innocent people going to jail. But fortunately for me, people step forward with the evidence, witnesses step forward. We think that we're going to be able to do something special here in Austin to try to uh, fight back against police abuse, uh, remind police that they're supposed to be our servants, not our masters. and ideally cut down on the number of violent criminals in this town by cutting down the uh, number of violent cops that there are walking the streets. I'm here uh, both as a Gonzo journalist and as a member of Occupy Austin. We're involved yeah. with the uh, Peaceful Streets Project. We've been a big part of helping them get started, supporting them with our own actions and at theirs. Uh, and I'm also just I'm here because I think what happened in Anaheim was wrong. I've watched the videos of police dogs attacking uh, innocent people, of people protecting babies with their bodies from the dogs, uh, protecting people with their bodies from rubber bullets. I've watched that heartbreaking video with the children of Anaheim, which you should look up on YouTube. And uh, it's just wrong. We all need to stand together because if there's an injustice against one of us, it's an injustice against all of us. Support for police departments in this country is eroding because people are losing faith. They're losing hope. Um, they're losing trust for sure, because all they ever see is cops doing the wrong thing. 
I mean, cops don't really do much to prevent crime, but they do tend to create criminals by arresting people for nonviolent activities and trumping up false charges against them, and the cops engage in crimes all the time. You know, we've been out cop watching now, I don't know, hardcore for two weeks, you know, in bits and pieces for the last couple months, and we've already caught cops acting either extremely unprofessionally or actually breaking the law. And you know, these guys are the ones who are supposed to be enforcing the law and protecting us. But if they're out there um, committing crimes, and you know, what what right do they have to harass peaceful citizens? You know, the cops need to start focusing on their own ranks. You know, police to police, then start worrying about us. Chicago will be marching in a couple of hours. Uh, they're in Harlem. They're in L.A. They're in Dallas, uh, Portland, all across America right now standing in solidarity with the atrocious actions committed by the Anaheim Police Department. We recognize that this is something that could happen anywhere, has happened in a lot of places, and we need to end police violence against citizens now. It only takes one bad cop to ruin a life, and there's a lot of bad cops out there. Chilling people from vanity, stop killing people from vanity.